Okay guys, so what is up and welcome to this video. Um, basically this video is basically a kind of a blocks uh, portfolio add-on that I dis decided to make because uh, people I found weren't really using the API a lot. There, there aren't really any, the forums are very quiet at the moment. I know there's not much development on blocks, but aside, if I maybe I make one, maybe this will encourage the development of um, add-ons, a bit more extensions if you like. So <laughs> this big massive code is actually very simple and basically enables you to create a really quick portfolio uh, you do see a few changes because there are some limits with the um, with the extent with the API such as no color spacing things like that that you just need to go and add in blocks but that's fine so uh, yeah uh, I think if you if you've paused the video and looked through you'll probably understand it it's quite straightforward really uh, but I'm now going to go into blocks and I'm going to show you show you guys what basically it is so I'll leave the download link to this it comes in a .bex file here uh, and see so you can open it here you just double click that file when it downloads to install it and I probably haven't got an internet connection so it's probably going to come up with no internet oh no it does work and then once you've installed it you'll see across the top here you get the normal block uh, the preset blocks and then you get a little piece here that stands for portfolio in my mind looks pretty cool it fits in nice you click on it and then you get this oh, and you get this array here five different uh, block styles if you like um, and basically they're in order so to create the header you can do you can do that then to create another one do that and I'm just going to basically add each individually one there you go contact page and the footer so there you go without color that is a very very straightforward portfolio website now I'm just going to convert it into a decent looking Something a bit more decent looking, we'll say. Um, so if we do center, center, if we make these large, yeah, we'll make these large. Of course, you can change the order, or you can just use one or two. Uh, it's just a nice little feature. I'm going to make in a few more of these as well. You can change the color of them if you want. Uh, we've then got uh, the gallery section. Uh, which I will make the dark color background here and uh, for this basically to to separate the two the two rows of images you have to go onto this one you have to go on margin you have to go on large and that splits them all uh, it's not sure why that doesn't work but there you go so and also to make that further away you can adjust the margin so we're going to give it a large margin uh, th the text in this currently set to my work and then of course these you can drag in any images you want they'll work pretty well uh, even ones from your project ass assets they work well as well uh, there you go that's pretty cool um, and then you can go into contact me which is a little bit I'll explain what this is about in a minute um, so but first I'll create the dark footer there we go and then we'll create this to small uh, so the contact me page is a little bit weird uh, because currently when you add a form on in the API it doesn't add a form tag around it so uh, yeah if you want to actually make this useful I'd recommend just deleting these and rebuilding it's very very straightforward to do I mean you just like you can just delete all these here and then just add if add a form back in here there you go and then that works then they can put yours in that there looks better but if currently you can't do that it's also got an iframe next to it but this way you can put in uh, say Google Maps of course it didn't come with the Google Maps natively but you can if you want uh, create the large and large there there you go looks pretty good yeah and this is just a really let's export this see what it looks like after I've fiddled with this text here to make it look better 98 yeah we're gonna create the text to that extra large good yeah that's good all these are in the center then you're going to export project test and then if we open up test here which is where is it oh I probably saved it in a silly place probably saved it in here there it is open up test and then open up index there we go well apart from the head apart from the top thing not working but I do think that's because my 
internet is a bit weird at the moment. It's not really working properly. Same with the iPhone. That actually hasn't loaded because there's nothing in there. Uh, it's still trying to access uh, the header thing. But I can show you that will come up. There you go. It's, it is there. It's just not currently working. <laughs> it's strange. Anyway, it's a very, very basic portfolio um, add-on using the API very effectively instead of having to create all of these individually, which would take you probably double the time. Uh, yeah, it's just if you want to create a really, really quick site, so a friend just said, or a mock-up, in fact, this could be used for mock-ups. If you want to create a mock-up of a portfolio site, uh, you could do that. So, as always, I'll leave a link to this in, in the description below. Go and download it, uh, give it a try, give any feedback you want. Any more add-ons you want, because I'll be making a few more. They're quite straightforward to make. Uh, if you don't have to make them, go visit my um, Blocks uh, API tutorial. That's all right. I was looking through yesterday to teach me again how to build it, and it got confused with the name system. It wouldn't find the actual uh, names of it, apart from custom block layout setup, a uh, custom block set. But I'm actually going to try and figure out how to change the name and still get the add-ons to work uh, with the API, so you can have multiple multiple of these installed that would be pretty cool uh yeah just trying to develop a bit more of a community with people who develop uh the with the api i know there isn't a lot you can do with it if you look here um but it's still pretty it can save you it can save you a lot of time um you hate to short codes it's, you can do a lot with it layout text images icons videos forms and miscellaneous uh but there you can do a lot with it currently i'm not sure if any works program to be done but certainly it's, it's you're better off getting used to how to use it now and then when more things are added to it, it'll be simpler to add it than try and learn from scratch when uh, Norm probably introduces a load more features in Blocks 2.0. Uh, yeah, so that's all for today's video. Uh, blocks to WordPress, still in development. Um, yeah, still trying to get my head around it and finding the time. I've been quite busy lately uh, to get my head around how to actually... Because the stuff I was doing was quite straightforward um, and up until... Uh, the video three which hasn't been created yet uh so blocks videos one and two are very very straightforward very, very easy to make and then three and four five and so on a bit more complicated so anyway if you enjoyed this video remember to click the subscribe button i like it if you like the video dislike if you dislike the video uh leave any comments with feedback and of course various whatever you want questions anything and i'll see you guys in another video bye bye